So much of it is a two-way street. And the more that you contribute, the more that you do get back. More than 90% I owe to Columbia Business School what I am. I have been drawing on the connections I made at Columbia uh, since the day I graduated. You serve as our inspiration. We are more than pleased to present you with the medal this morning. As far as I'm aware, I am the first medalist from GSAP. It's kind of exciting. Sharon Leibowitz, class of 91, Graduate School of Architecture, Preservation and Planning. Yes, we were studying architecture and design, but we were also studying real estate development and we were studying basic engineering. You're always required to do reviews, but you got used to that feeling of sharing your story in front of an audience. You learned how to develop maybe a little bit of a thicker skin. I still remember, in particular, Stephen Hall from our very first day at school. He told us, you're going to get a terrific education, but I also realized that probably not all of you are going to become architects. I took those same principles to go on working at banks, building trading systems, and now building my own company. But it was those building blocks that I learned here at Columbia that really gave me uh, the background to do that and the confidence. I really got interested in alumni activities when I did veer away from architecture. I wanted to maintain that connection. The dean at the time, who was Mark Wigley, realized that the school had so many great things going for it, but the one component that was missing was an alumni association. Talking about building, here's a chance to build something. And when the time came, the team I had been working with asked me to lead it. So it was, it was really quite an honor. Just as GSAP is a bit interdisciplinary program, it was great to have CAA, which was very interdisciplinary as well, and people were interacting across different schools. So it was that, that great perspective, I think, the big tent, we like to call it. In their hands and minds is the future of architecture, of cities, and of the environment. It was such an honor to be up there on the stage and looking out towards the Sea of Grad. And I was also hoping that when they saw us receive our medals, they would be thinking about how they would stay connected. The two years of Columbia Business School made me a lot, and I owe a lot to the Columbia Business School. Soko Lee, business, class of 1988. I could have a chance to meet a lot of uh, Columbia alumni working in the Wall Street and what they're talking and what their real experience, that made me exposed in real finance world. First thing I'm surprised is that 40% students women. You know, at the time in Korea, kind of male-dominated society, learning and living in the United States very uh, fruitful and healthy. So I travel a lot. I have uh, friends in many schools, so Japan, Korea, <laughs> so Chicago, LA. I'm the president of the uh, Columbia Business School Alumni Association, and uh, I'm the vice president of the total uh, Columbia Alumni Association in Korea. When Glenn Harvard, now the dean of the business school, inaug was inaugurated as a dean, he first made a business trip to Asia. Take stock of my bond, sir. It was the first time the business school dean visited to Seoul at the time. We had a big ceremony in Centennial uh, ceremony. It means that the business school has a hundredth birthday party. We did, and I organized a lot of uh, things, and I invited a lot of uh, alumni. 40 to 50 uh, Columbia Business School students and one professor visit the Korea for a week, and they visit Korean conglomerate or Korean blue chip. Today is my double blessing is that I got a medal and my son graduated commencement day of Columbia College. The United Nations treasures its partnership with Columbia University. We are allies across the world. The Koreans most respected man is the Pan Ki-moon, Secretary General of UN. I met him. So maybe triple blessing for me. <laughs> In high school, I joined the Columbia Science Honors Program, and that framed for me the model of what a university should be and is. Thomas Campbell Jackson, School of Public Health, class of 98. Well, there was a time when I was working for the mayor's office in the city of New York. We had a great team there, and one of my colleagues was the late Dr. Stephen N. Rosenberg. He was the medical director to the program, and he was also on faculty at the Melman School of Public Health. 
When I graduated, I was recruited to be the, the director of the city's health benefits program, uh, which I'm sure would not have happened had I not taken my degree at Columbia. You may think you don't have time for engagement, but it's actually one of the best things you can do for your career. I found myself being asked to join the Alumni Association, and then at some point, not too long after, I became the president of that, and um, I enjoyed it so much I got more engaged. Eventually, uh, Dean Linda Freed asked me to join the Board of Overseers of the school. So the more I showed up at events and spoke to students one-on-one, -on -one, potential students, current students, and recent graduates, the more I saw that I had something to offer them. The degree is a very expensive one. Uh, the career is not always a, a lucrative or remunerative one. I was pleased when I was able to help the Alumni Association um, sort of jumpstart its uh, fundraising for scholarships. For anybody who thinks that their experience was limited to one particular school at the university, I, I'd encourage them to come out and see what the CAA is about and realize that you're part of an enormous community here at Columbia. So I spent a lot of time actually working in projects that, that communicate science to a non-science audience. And the first movie I was exposed to was a sort of a biopic about a scientist who worked at Columbia about 100 years ago. It somehow connected me with the, the history of, of the place. And we also enjoyed uh, shooting the facade of this building with a biblical quote from, from Job, uh, speak to the earth and it will teach you. Torch thy children's lamps to kindle. Uh, being on the stage with President Bollinger and, and Ban Ki-moon and the other honorees and looking out at that sea of blue and white uh, is not something I expect to be able to reproduce anytime soon for sheer emotion and production value. Storms of time abide. Stand Columbia on.